Hey, this is Jamie with Stonemeyer Games, and today I'm going to talk about my favorite game mechanism in Underwater Cities. This is a game that was a pretty big hit in uh, 2019. I just played it for the first time a few weeks ago, thanks to Sean, a friend of mine who taught me how to play, and I had a lot of fun with it. It's a little heavier than a typical Euro game that I play. I usually play like medium heavyweight. I would solidly put this in the heavy category um, for me. But, uh, but I really enjoyed it, and it, I enjoyed it, I think, largely because of one key mechanism that really makes it stand out. And overall, it's just a nice, rewarding, heavy Euro game. It's not a punishing game. You aren't really hurt for doing many things. You're constantly rewarded with more stuff, more cards, uh, lots of different short-term and long-term goals that you can pursue. All that is great. But the core mechanism, and you may have heard about this if you've heard of the game, is something that I really like, which is, on your turn, you are going to pick one of the cards in your hand, you're going to play it, or at least put it into play, and then you are going to take one of your workers and choose one of the uh, worker placement spots on the board. Um, the cards are all different colors, three different colors, and the worker placement spots on the board, it's uh, three sides of the board, are all different colors as well. Um, they match these cards. And basically, if you place your worker on the same color action as the card you played, then you actually get to use the card that you played. Um, it actually enters play. You get to either use it right away or if, it, or if it just remains in play if it's one of these action cards. This is a really simple mechanism, but I love what it does in the game, specifically especially for learning the game. Um, in a game where there are a lot of choices, a lot of interesting choices, which card do you play, which actions do you choose, which strategies do you pursue, this helps you narrow down that choice. Sometimes you might have a hand that's all one color, and so you know, okay, um, I don't have to do this, I don't have to choose that color, but I'm heavily incentivized to choose a worker placement spot of that color. So it helps guide the player in a time, especially a learning game, when they might be struggling to decide what to do. And I love it when games do this. I love it when games, especially more complex games that offer a ton of choices, do something little um, to help guide you in moments where you are or where you could be a little overwhelmed. And I think Underwater Cities does this really, really well. It also helps that there's such a wide variety of cards. So the cards themselves are really exciting to play and look through. I found that the game had, we played a three player game and there was, even though there was technically downtime in the game, when it wasn't my turn, I was constantly looking at my hand of cards and thinking, okay, what can I, what can I play next? What's, what's most beneficial for me to play next? Um, sometimes it, they have a cost, sometimes you have to pay them to play them, but oftentimes they don't have a cost. It's just a matter of, does this benefit me to play at this time? Does this help me move forward in the game? And when it got around to my turn, that was usually around the time when I was actually ready to make a decision. So my brain was always churning throughout the game. I was never feeling like I was waiting for other players. So this mechanism, I really, really like this. You've probably seen me highlight this type of mechanism in videos before. The type of mechanism that helps you narrow down your choices, it doesn't force you into those choices, but it helps you if you want to narrow down those choices, especially in moments where you could be overwhelmed. And I really like this color matching system in underwater cities for doing that. If you have a different favorite mechanism in this game, and there are a lot of mechanisms in this game, so I'm sure you have something different to share, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Also, just so I don't mislead you, this photo down here is from the expansion. The expansion includes uh, really triple layered player mats. Um, they're dual layered, but they're double sided, so both sides are dual layered. And uh, they make the game really, really nice. I think in the core game, there's, there's, they aren't included, but what you see here is from the expansion. Um, so yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments about uh, Underwater Cities or other games that use a similar mechanism to this. Thanks.